G'day, I'm Dr. Peter Price of Classroom Professor. Welcome to this video in the free math worksheet series. This week the group of worksheets that are available to go with the video come out of the ebook that we're about to release called Let's Go Addition and Subtraction. It's aimed at grade one or year two students and it covers a range of strategies to help them learn their addition and subtraction facts. Um, this particular strategy is for counting on two within 10 or up to 10. Um, so number, none of the numbers go beyond that. The worksheets include examples of two different resources that we recommend for these facts. And that is, as you can see, the number line and the 10 frame. And the questions come in a variety of forms. So I'm going to talk about these four types briefly now. So if we were adding 5 plus 2, of course, quite simply with the number line, we would start from the 5, make two more hops. What number do we get to? With the second example, uh, 2 plus 7, of course, we're not going to start from the 2 and then count on 7. There is no count on 7 strategy. So we will teach our students for counting on small amounts. And our recommendation is to go only up to 3. So count on 1, 2 or 3. Start with a larger number. So start from the seven, again, count on two. Early on, you'll have the students draw the lines and the arrows and you know mark the numbers that they get to. But as they become more familiar with it, what you want them to do is to look at the number line and if you like, mentally imagine the jumps or you know trace with their eyes where the jumps would be. So you could say, look at the seven, where will we get to if we count on another two? I'm not going to show you, 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 know, you look at it and tell me where you get to. Um, Ultimately, and we'll do the same sort of thing with the 10 frame, um, we put out the counters to start with, but later on we won't put the counters out and ask if they can picture it. Ultimately, we want them to, as it were, see the numbers in their mind's eye and be able to do the addition um, in their head. Um, yeah. So um, with the 10 frame, let's look at that. So if we had 5 plus 2, the same example, using the 10 frame, we put out five counters. And to start with, we would say, right now, put out another two counters. How many do we have now? The 10 frames are a wonderful resource for helping students develop their understanding of their numbers up to 10. And then, of course, you can add another frame for uh, numbers up to 20. And it works it works so well because it's an ordered structure that allows you to sabotage or recognize the numbers without actually counting them. So they should be able to see that's five once they are familiar with um, 10 frames and they'll be able to see that that's seven. Um, again, after a while, as I said before, we might put out some of the counters and say put out five and say imagine the other two what number would we get to? There's also another arrangement. We could fill one row to start with. So that would be five. Where would the other two go? What number would we make there? And then after a while, not put any counters out and say, can you picture five counters? Now picture another two. What number would that be? And so on. With the latter two questions, these are missing add end questions, of course, where one of the two numbers being added is, is missing. And we have the sum of the two numbers. Going back to the number line, this question would say, we finish at four, we had two hops from this side, of course. Where did we start from? So it's, it's more complex. We're asking the children to imagine um, a sort of backwards motion. This is not subtraction as such. So we're not going to say simply turn this around and subtract, but it's preparing the students for subtraction. So I'd probably say, well, if we had two hops like this, where did we start from? That makes it obvious. And then after a while, of course, they can work that out for themselves with other examples. Uh, similarly, uh, two plus something equals eight using the 10 frame to show this one. Uh, we would need to put out the eight, probably all with one color. Actually, maybe we could do it this way with two of them in another color and say two plus what equals eight? What's the other number when we've added two to it? OK, so reasonably straightforward, but it's important that the students develop this ability to picture the numbers in their head and ultimately be able to think and, and uh, recall their number facts independently of the resources. All right, so that's it for this week and I'll talk to you next time.